This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research through funding by the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED UAS. Its contents are solely the responsibility of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official views of America View, the USGS, or other partners. The mention of trade names or commercial products does not constitute their endorsement. Remotely sensed imagery is acquired using various methods and aerial platforms. The United States Geological Survey, USGS, has been designated as a central clearinghouse for much of the imagery collected by the federal government, with a mission to organize the imagery and facilitate its distribution to the public. Although this collection is very large, it does not have a complete library of all remotely sensed Earth imagery. This chapter briefly discusses some of the images available on the Earth Explorer site. Please see your text for the basics of remote sensing, including a discussion of the electromagnetic spectrum, spectral, spatial, and radiometric properties, Landsat satellite imagery properties and spectral bands, and Sentinel satellite imagery and spectral bands. Many other remotely sensed image products and data are also available from the USGS data library via Earth Explorer. From a browser, go to Earth Explorer at this URL. To see what imagery and data is stored in the USGS Data Clearinghouse, click on the Datasets tab. Let's view the images or data available under Aerial Imagery. Click the plus sign to expand the category. To view metadata associated with a specific image, Click the information icon next to the image's name, for example, in front of the NAEP image. In this specific case, clicking on the information icon takes us to the website for the NAEP program. The green dollar icon indicates the data set may have ordering costs. To identify the geographic region covered by an image product, click on the toggle coverage map icon. The areas highlighted here indicate the coverage of this data set on the map. Let's scroll down, expand vegetation monitoring, and activate the quick dry coverage. The additional coverage area is highlighted in a different color. This allows display of multiple image locations at the same time, which helps determine what images are available for a specific area. In the next chapter of this book, we provide a step-by-step -step instruction on how to download imagery, specifically a Landsat 8 image used in other chapters of this book.